did you know? As I recently admitted, it's been a really difficult month or so here at Archaea Soup Towers. Both Mrs. Soup and I feel somewhat buried by a sequence of recent events. We are tired and stressed. Of course, we plan to have a break as soon as possible. But at times like this, I'm reminded of the year 1640. This was the year that the Turkish Ottoman Sultan Ibrahim I, or Ibrahim the Mad, came to power. He succeeded his brother Murad IV, and seemingly through grief suffered greatly with physical and mental weakness. For example, he was once observed feeding the fish in the palace pool, not food, but coins. Some suspect the Sultan's mother, Kursam Sultan, was effectively in charge, and she encouraged her son to while away his time with his harem, full of women. While this did mean he fathered at least three heirs, jealousy on his part, when one of the women was accused of having an affair, led to a rather dramatic event. The entire harem, 280 women, were taken on a trip to see the Bosphorus, the river which for some separates Asia from Europe. Here he had every woman drowned. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why think of this, Mr. Soup? This is rather grim stuff. Well, you see, as despicable, nefarious, two-faced and otherwise dishonourable as people around you may be, it could always be worse. You could find yourself being unfairly sentenced to a horrible death at the whim of an unhinged and feeble sultan. 